Happy Thursday. Delivery done in the books. In the books. It went pretty smooth. Yeah. It was hot, golly, humid in North Carolina. Yeah, it was. It's still pretty humid, yeah. I know. We're, are it's we still not hot, North though. Carolina? I think so. We decided to head north a bit. Yep, we're heading north. We hadn't had no calls going in. A uh, bunch of trucks over in that area. So we're heading uh, towards Richmond, Baltimore. See if we can get something out of there. I'd like to get yeah. one more load for the week, even if it's over the weekend. One more. Yeah. yeah. That would be nice. Or at least one lined up for Monday <laughs> from this week. So yeah. we know what we're doing over the weekend. Yeah. But I don't mind having wait until Monday. Mm -hmm. But hey, long, long. Oh. Hey, sir. Yes, sir. How you doing, man? Hey, good, man. How are you? Hey, I got a quick question. Uh, the vents for the, the DTAC air conditioner. Uh -huh. Do you know what size those are, the vent? venting is it a 2.5 inch yes okay so that was a AA sleeper <laughs> yeah. make it sure it's 2.5 <laughs> inch on the vent tubes before i go ordering it or we may just stop by there and get it yeah then we know, know we got the right stuff at yeah least. yeah now yeah. i think i can get some of them with the existing that's in there but yeah talking about the ac again <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Somebody some... said, just fix it and quit bitching about it. We're not bitching about it. <laughs> just because we talk about it. <laughs> oh, my God. I am so tired Oh, my tired gosh, look, of... there's a deer. See him? Oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. We're at this rest area. What are we off the I-85? Yeah, yeah, I-85. Oh, pretty deer. He just, he just came out of the woods. <laughs> but, yeah, we're, uh, golly, yeah, I don't know. I mean, stuff's been coming across, but nothing around here, so. And everything for next week so far. So. Yeah, and it's early. I mean, what is it? It's 1030 here, East Coast time. Yeah. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah. So what, we're going to head a little bit more north? Um. Yeah, yeah, keep heading that way, make some calls. I don't know if I really have a plan right now. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't have a plan. We're, we're, we're kind of just going with it and see if anybody calls us out of the blue. And yeah, yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> well, not, well, not a whole lot. I know, not a whole lot yet. Yeah. Um, but we'll let you guys know. Cool. <laughs> Duty. Happy Friday, oh you guys. Oh, all over the land. Lands. Dirty land. There's a smudge. <laughs> all right, that's <Take> better. <laughs> Happy Friday from Lexington, Virginia. We got us a load. We did get us a load. Don't pick up till next week. So we decided to check out something new. Yeah, we we're deadheading for it. <laughs> um, we have about 200 mile deadhead and we wanted to get an RV spot for the weekend. Yep. So we stopped at, this is the TA, it's the Lehigh Travel Plaza in Lexington, Virginia. Yep. They have a campground. Check they it do. out. We got us a spot and they ain't kicking us out of here. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't kicking us out. They no. knew we were a straight truck, so. Yeah. Oh, did you turn this mic on? I did. Okay. Making sure my mic's on. It's all <laughs> Man, we got all kinds here. of technical difficulties today, aren't I know. We? Yeah, we just pulled in. We check in. You check in at the fuel desk. We called first to make sure that we, we did. could stay. We did. They say, yes, like with our good Sam, it's like 34 bucks a night. Not bad at all for Heck full yeah. hookups. Heck yeah. Don't have to run. That's cheaper than running my generator. Mm -hmm. 24 hour period to run my generator cost me like 40 something. So Yeah, so we're going to stay here until Sunday. We check out Sunday because we still are a little bit from our delivery or our delivery, our pickup, which you'll find out about in next the next vlog because we don't pick up until yeah. Monday. Yeah. But, we're just gonna get set up here and have the weekend. Oh, Jason fixed the AC vents in the back. Finally. I did, finally. He didn't it, do a video on it. You'll have to didn't. just show it in the I'm vlog. gonna, yeah, go over what we did, show what we did and all that, and real easy to, well, I say it was easy, it, but. 
it was kind of easy. We had <laughs> the sleeper was a mess, and trying to film it and all that at the same time would have yeah. been a pain in the butt. Yeah, but we'll show it. We'll show y'all what we did. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Yeah. But yeah, let's get hooked up and get. We went to Costco on the way here, so I still got some stuff I need to put away. As long as we ain't getting no rain, we're gonna be doing some barbecuing on oh, the Traeger, yeah. some smoking, and. I got, a, got a part of a brisket, so mm -hmm. cool. Let's get it. Let's go. Well, happy fun day Saturday. <laughs> fun day Saturday. Oh, somebody's got a call right when oh, we start. Poor. What the heck? <laughs> Don't you know we're vlogging here? <laughs> oh, it's interrupting. And it's a junk call. <laughs> I could always tell because nobody ever calls me from Texas. <laughs> Ugh. Well, is it? Oh, yeah, it's happy Sunday fun day. Yeah, but it's Saturday. We're having a fun day Saturday. It is pretty fun because today. Because tomorrow's Sunday. We have to check out of the RV park, so today's our fun day. Man, we just had a yummy brunch. <laughs> breakfast, brunch. Brunch, breakfast. Eggs, yeah. eggs and sausage, that's pretty much considered breakfast. I know. Just late breakfast. But it's, yeah, late breakfast. Jason put a brisket on the Traeger and it is smelling so good. We're gonna have that for dinner. Yeah, that's gonna be dinner. First yeah, brisket. Yeah, first brisket I'm doing. Uh, uh, we're doing a whole video on it. It's probably not gonna be a great video, but just another <laughs> thing you can do with the Traeger. Just showing you what we cook on it. It is definitely warm today, but the sun is out, partly cloudy. Yeah. Got some rain last night. It, it was 20% chance today, but I don't think uh, we're going to get any. I think it's all the surrounding areas and all that good stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful day. Just nice, relaxing. and. Yep, we got our chairs out, our table out, smoker out. Mm -hmm. Sitting and moving with the shade. This, <laughs> this has got to be my favorite part of expediting. It is. I know we've said it before, but it definitely is. Yeah, and we had like we have like a four day weekend that we're doing. So we spent the first two days getting all the stuff we needed to get done. Finally fixed the air conditioner. Yes, we need to show that. <laughs> we, did. we didn't film while we were doing it, but I'm going to go through and show everything we did and what we fixed on it to increase airflow. How what, how's the airflow? It seems a lot better. It's, yeah. The true test will be when we're loaded and running some miles. Yeah. We uh, He fixed it yesterday and we had it on when we were driving from the Home Depot and stuff to get to the RV park. And it seemed like it was blowing. It definitely is blowing a lot harder than yeah, it was. Yeah, so yeah. I think it's gonna be really good. The true test though will be when we're driving through Arizona in 110 degree weather. Oh well, gosh, nothing can hold up to that. <laughs> I'm telling you. I don't know. Yeah, there's no air conditioner in the world that can, <laughs> unless you keep like, it, as long as you keep all the windows up and stuff, I think it works real great. As soon as you crack that window, it sucks all your cold air out. True. <laughs> Not a whole lot going on. No, we're just, just relaxing today. I hope this brisket comes out good, man. It's smelling so good. Well, that's the wood that's smelling good. We're I using know. like an apple wood that it, it, it smells pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to. Hopefully the meat turns out good. I think it will. 
Yeah, hopefully. You know what you're doing. Yeah, uh, kind of. <laughs> Just a little. I'm an amateur barbecuer, <laughs> connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, so we'll probably check up with you guys one more time before we close this vlog out. Yeah. We've got one more day, well, <laughs> half a day here, and then we'll be deadhead. And we got about 90 miles to deadhead for our pickup on Monday yeah. here. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, well, let's enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Happy Sunday. Fun day. You no, know, it's not fun today, but uh, yeah. relaxing. We're winding down. We're winding gonna relax. Down from our our four day weekend. weekend. <laughs> yeah. Got checked yeah. out of that RV park. We didn't want to leave, but we had to get closer for our pickup. We did. We were still like 90 miles from it, and now, gosh, we're not far now, right? No, we're not far at all. Oh, yeah. 15 yeah. miles. If that, yeah. Oh, man, our brisket last night, oh, so good. 12 miles away. Yeah, that brisket. Oh, my gosh. I, I am loving that little Traeger Ranger. Oh, man. I'm so telling you, if you, if you guys are on the fence about getting it, <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm telling you, you, you got to get it. it yeah. I have never, ever in my life even come close to smoking a brisket. I've never even cooked a brisket. Uh, yeah, not on the barbecue. Yeah, I've never done anything with a brisket, and that thing turned out amazing. Okay. And I'm sure I could have did did even better, but it was still really great. Pulled apart like really nice and soft. Nice it and was tender, flavor, flavorful, lots of juice. Lots of juice. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh, it was so good. And we got so much leftovers, for <clears> food, <throat> which is awesome. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, we were good. We got to this oh, little, this oh, is a little truck stop. Oh, I don't even know if you call it a truck stop. They just have truck parking at a little convenience gas station. At a gas station. But there's tons of parking, so. Yeah, yeah. We've got yeah, Wa yeah. Walmart behind us, Waffle House across mm -hmm. the road, but we don't need Waffle House because no. we got plenty of leftover barbecue. That's right. That's right. Pick up our load tomorrow and you'll find out about that in the next vlog. We just yeah. wanted to jump on and end this one. I'm, I'm going to show you guys something real quick. I want to show you. Oh, you got to down show you what we did with the air conditioning oh, yeah. all right so as you can see we have two vents here now and then i added a third one right there all that right there it folds out and you're able to get back behind there and route the ducting and all that but if you look over here right there back behind the the shade that's where the other one was and then we had two that were under the bed, under there. But we've always kept those closed off because we store our laundry hamper, shoes, dog bowl, other miscellaneous items. So the only vents we had were that one and that one. Now, the HVAC unit is down under this, uh, under this seating area right here. <clears throat> so there was a duct that ran all the way around up and then out that hole. Well, this side, it didn't blow very good and it was not very cold. So 
we deleted those two vents down there. We deleted that one over there. And we put three over here. And what that's done for, it's, it's shortened the length that the air has to flow through tubes because it just comes from down underneath, uh, up that side um, kind of edge ledging, and then out those vents. So it's increased airflow out of that thing. A lot better. Oh gosh, yeah. It's blowing like paper towels and all, <laughs> it's blowing everything back there. And that one vent, that I got facing towards the bed. I mean, I know a lot of people love to have like fans blowing on them when they're sleeping or air. I think that vent's going to be perfect for that because it's going to blow air. And I've got it like kind of pointed because you can adjust which way the air flows out of it. I got it pointing up so it hits under the cabinets and then bounces, hits right back down on top of where you're sleeping. I wasn't paying attention. Did you say we were able to use the existing vent um, hose? We were. We were. Yeah. I didn't have to order any more. We actually have extra now. <laughs> we do. We have a lot. We Which took we're out. we keep just in case. We, we took out a lot of ducting because there was just an excess amount of ducting back yeah. there and I get why they did that was because people with the bolt sleepers you only have ducting on one side now I know a lot of people have complained about that not liking it why is there only ducting on one side why can't there be on both sides well the reason is is because the HVAC units on that side mm -hmm. the HVAC unit for that ducting is on that side and if you have a comfort pro APU which has its own HVAC system they put that on the driver's side, which is the ducting for the ducting on your driver's side back there is for your HVAC unit for when you're running your APU. And they do that because that's the side it's on that, you know, and it increases airflow. Now, the, even with our old bolt, they had an enormous amount of tubing in there. Yeah, we still, uh, we, we adjusted can, that too. You can adjust that too. You take it off of uh, the air outlet of your HVAC system and just shorten it up. Make the length of the, the ducting shorter so that it, it has less tube to flow through before it gets to the register. And the less bends you have in it as well. Now, true, true. Uh, excess tubing will create bends because it's bunched up in there. You're going to have bends because you yeah. got to route yeah. I mean, out of... Yeah, even still have bends, Yeah, but... yeah, yeah. Out of the HVAC system, you got to make a 90-degree bend. Then you got to make a 90-degree bend going up to the top ducting. and So you're going to have bends, but you want to shorten the length of that tubing to increase mm -hmm. airflow coming out of those. And that's what we did. Yeah. We put all the ducting on one side and the registers so then it increase, increases airflow. Now there is one other thing I want to do is our HVAC system is back there and it has coolant lines from the engine tied into it which operates as for the heater. Now it also works as a hot water heater. No, 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 not the, the HVAC. Oh. Not the, the HVAC system. Running through Oh, is that something separate? It's separate. Oh. <laughs> our hot water tank is sitting right next to our HVAC system, which it has coolant lines running to it too. And so it has a tank on the inside, then it has like a some kind of routed coolant line system that goes around the, the water tank on the inside. Well, that hot coolant circulating around through the tank heats up that water tank on the inside. Well, all those coolant lines running up into the sleeper and around over there under that seat creates a lot of radiant heat. It does, yeah. A lot of radiant heat. So my thought process is... I need to put a shutoff valve on the outside somewhere to cut off the flow of coolant to those two units. In the summertime, at least. In, at least in the summertime. And then dirt, when it gets towards wintertime, I can open it back up. We can have hot mm. water and use the heat, the HVAC heater on it. Well, even if we put a shutoff valve for that coolant going into the um, water tank, 
we still can have hot water because we have an electric heater we can turn on for the water tank as well. We, we do, yeah. We, we, yeah. We, yeah, you can flip that switch while the generator's running and it's yeah. gonna heat up the hot water tank when we're sitting mm -hmm. or if we're at a campground or something. But if you reduce the heat back there, I think it's gonna help the HVAC system or the air conditioned part of the HVAC system even operate better. Well, yeah, because where the air intake is for the HVAC system, there's a filter and that yeah. is right up against that water tank. It's that far water away from the water tank. tank. Yeah, yeah. You, and yeah, it's, it's just, all it is is sucking in hot air. Sucking from in that, warm, from that water tank. Warm so. and too much hot, it, 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 I think would make it. Now I'm no HVAC expert. I'm sure maybe somebody will <laughs> comment down in the comments. This is just my thought process going on. Yeah. You know, as a truck driver, we have a lot of time to think. Yeah. <laughs> what we did drastically helped. I, I can with airflow. Tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think we can improve the the temperature of that air coming out of the HVAC by mm -hmm. cutting off those coolant lines that are going into it. Cause I remember back when at my old carrier, back before me and Heather drove together, we had a bobtail that we would cut off the coolant lines going to the, the heater core inside the dash and you would cut off the coolant lines and that would make the air condition in the truck work like a hundred times better. So. That's my thought process. You'll have to let me know what you think. Yeah, I think. But that's what we did. That's what we did. We yeah. wanted to at least show it. Sorry we didn't do a whole separate video yeah, about it. But yeah. really, I mean, we were just trying to get it done. And, yeah, yeah, because we've been uh, putting it off for far too long. So now we're yeah. not going to be bitching about it anymore in our videos. <laughs> One person commented that. And yeah, it's I, like... know. I know. It was funny. He said, uh, uh, well, oh, you talked about that. Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. But, all right. Well, it's we're going to wrap this one up. Yeah, we're done. We're Stay done. tuned for the next vlog to see where we're heading with this next load. Cool. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. And until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. Hey, you guys. You ready to go outside now and go potty? Yeah. Been I know. You've been patient. You've yeah. been patient letting us do our <laughs> clip. You want to go out? Are you ready? Okay. <laughs>